<laughs> that handsome young man with the American school teacher. Sven Torvald. I've seen him before. Indeed you have, Maggie. A few years back, he won two Olympic gold medals for skiing. These days, he's uh, pretty much a part of the international jet set. But there was a time when he could fly down a slope like the wind. <laughs> but what is this now? You walking in the moonlight with the likes of me and talking about a young stud 15 years my junior. If I was interested in Sven Torvald, believe me, he would be here now instead of you. <laughs> I know what I want, Mr. Haggerty, and I get it. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Did you know there are some lovely waterfalls a few miles from here? The moon is high, the breeze is gentle, and my car is parked right out front. I suppose you can be trusted. Not in the least. <laughs> hey! Hey, yo! Watch where you going, mister! You bloody fool, you let him get away! Hey! You bumped into me! Michael, are you all right? I'm fine, but I'm afraid this idiot let that fella get away with your purse. It was an accident, pal. Was it? Well, I'm sorry. I've been watching you all evening, watching you, watching me, and I'd like to know why. Sheldon Greenberg, Miss Canfield, hotel security. Oh. And I've been watching you because I thought something like this might happen. You'd better explain that. Look, it's my business to check out new guests, especially the ones that are dumb enough, excuse me, ma'am, to wear that kind of jewelry out in plain sight. I mean, it's an invitation to trouble. And we've had plenty of that lately. All I can say is, you're lucky something worse didn't happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to report this to the police. <laughs>